Hello YouTube fam, how y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, the channel where I ran and I review. I was having a conversation with someone the other day and we were talking about collecting. And they were talking about the money aspect. They said, you know, you can have collecting without money. And you know, um, that depends. You know, a lot of people do dumpster diving, you know, like in video game stores and retail outlets where they buy certain things from these places. And just to be honest, I don't know, man, you know, but for me, money is synonymous with collecting. I can't get the stuff I want without money. And that's the things that I've really been pushing to people, man. You know, you make it seem like you're able to pick up all this stuff without spending any money. I haven't seen that before, man. You know, for the most parts with me, man, every time that I look at everything that I buy, man, I have to spend money collecting gym shoes, retro video games, comic books, basketball, baseball cards, things like that, um, Funko Pops, um, die cast, Hot Wheel cars, um, cologne, watches, you know, all this stuff, hats, anything that you could think of. The reason why I say all of this stuff, man, because a lot of people make it seem like, oh, man, what I do is I buy these lots, you know, um, big lots, and, you know, I sell all the stuff that I don't need, and I keep the stuff. Motherfucker, you're a reseller. Come on. I don't care how much mental gymnastics you do. It all goes back to that. You resell. It's nothing wrong with that. But call it for what it is. Don't make it seem like you're doing something, you know, that's so, you know, like you helping the community. You're not. you helping yourself. And, you know, there ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, keep it a bean. Keep it 100. Make it make sense to yourself. Man, everybody make it seem like the community is the problem. It's just everybody don't know truly what titles they have. Man. Dude, I'm trying to sit back and realize what I want to do, man. But I'm going to say something. With collecting, there comes issues, man. There comes problems. There comes a lot of shit that happens, man. You know, when you're looking for stuff, man, and sometimes when you're not, you find good-ass deals that's so crazy that it'll have people losing their damn mind mad at you because you're able to find shit people ain't really paying attention to man i'm looking at these deals <clears throat> you know it may be not a deal to somebody else but for me you know my whole thing is you build your collections not on big ticket items man you start out slow first you know you build it with the smaller items you know items that you'd be like well you know i'm, I'm gauging if i really want to do this or not and, you know, that's when you start thinking, like, man, I don't know if I really want to be a collector or not. So I'm going to uh, slow it down a little bit. No, I'm going to start collecting this and that. Dude, that's what I do. You know, that's what I did with the action figures and everything. That's what I do with shoes. That's what I do with the video games. When I did the retro video games, I'm still doing them now. Dude, I think I got, like, what, 56 Super Nintendo games, like 20 Sega Genesis games, like 20 uh, N64 games. 40-something um, NES games. My point that I'm making here, man, if you pay attention, it's a lot of stuff that you can get your hands on. I hear, and you know what? I had to make, you know, uh, I actually had to say that retro games are hard. They are pricey. But if you take your time, you can find a hell of a lot of stuff. A lot of people don't want to take their time. They want to jump on the first item they see. Well, you know, the label got to be fantastic, you know. But see, everybody's different. You know, it got to come sealed because I collect only sealed games. How do you play any of them? You know, at the end of the day, to each their own. But, you know, with the way I do it, man, I'm just making it work for myself, man. And that's what you're supposed to do. Your hobby grow when you grow as a person. When you start realizing what you don't need and what you actually do need. And I was sitting here looking at the hobby and I was like, man, the labels don't need to be good on these retro games. The only thing that has to actually be really good for me is they got to work. And, you know, playing them, and I'm like, damn, they actually work, but they may not look the greatest. <clears throat> Some of my comic books are reader copies. You know, whereas, you know, you can't actually get top dollar for some of them. A lot of them are reader copies. I'm okay with that because I actually read the book. I'm okay with reading the book. And it's, you know, like I said, I don't collect to sell. I collect to have fun with it. You know, when I buy my shoes, I wear them. 
when I buy anything that you see me buy, I use it. The hats you see me wear, um, cologne I wear, the watches I wear. The point that I'm making is what you do may not make sense to everybody else. It may not be in everybody's wheelhouse. They may be looking at you like, yeah, but that's all kitty shit. You know, when you'll grow up and, you know, pop some bottles and, you know, be over here and, you know, go vacay over in Rio de Janeiro, you know, and I'm just saying that. But, you know, a lot of people make it seem like these hobbies are not where it's at. I could see my hobby, man. I could see this stuff. And if I ever wanted to get rid of it, I can you know, it may not go for top dollar, but I'm pretty sure I could get some dollars for it. You get what I mean? This is the stuff that I'm looking at. You know, I'm looking at what it is that I like, man. Because, you know, as I've been tripping out, man, everybody been out here crying about every damn thing. Crying about the collections and, you know, all the stuff that we doing out here and how stuff ain't really making sense and you know what? The reason why none of this hobby situation is making sense to anybody, because nobody wanted to make sense. You know, when we mention deals and all of that stuff at places, people like, man, you know, I want to pay full price for everything. I don't. Man, I got a thing against paying full price for shit, man. You know, I'm not there for that. I'm here for, you know, a situation where I can win in. You know, I'm looking at it just like this with the Funko Pops, man. I buy the ones that I like. Um... Action figures. I'm buying the ones that I like. I'm not just buying them because, oh, man, that's part of the set. No. Dude, why would you have all that shit up there that you don't like? Why you think I don't have all the G.I. Joe classified? I could actually get damn near all of them except for Dr. Madbender. But I don't like every last one of them. I don't like all the DC Multiverse figures. That's why I don't get them all. Dude, same with Motu and everything else, man. It has to have a balance. It got to be something that, you know, I could relate to, I grew up with, or something that I just like. Dude, I don't have to have sat there and watched the cartoon and, oh man, I know everything about Witcher. I know everything about uh, Warhammer 40K. I know everything about NECA Gargoyles. Man, I don't know everything about everything. I know I used to watch the Gargoyles. Hell, I know um, I watched uh, Witcher for a while. Uh, Warhammer 40K, I actually watched it for a minute, but... Just really. Um, it's just a lot of stuff, man. No, I don't think... No, I not watched Warhammer 40K, my bad. Just watch them on YouTube with all the stuff that they do with the stuff. And I just wanted to be a part of that. And when I seen the sale going really good with that, I jumped on. You jump in when the prices are low and it won't hurt you. It's nothing wrong with jumping in on a sale and saying, man, I got a real good discount. You know, you feel like you got a deal. Um, you all good with it. Dude, again, when collecting, you don't have to know everything. Oh, man. Oh, man. He he, he bought some X-Men books, man. Oh, man. So that means he know everything about the X-Men. He know everything about them X-Men, man. No, I don't know everything about the X-Men. I know I used to read the comic books a lot. Sorry. Man, your bro sick. That's why I haven't been doing a lot of videos, man. When you get sick, man, it's just like it knocks the wind out of you. But um, like I was saying, it's like everybody make it seem like you're supposed to know everything about everything. Back in the day, I used to collect a lot of comic books, man. I think at the... At the height of the comic book thing, I think I had like 5,000. I don't got nearly nowhere near that now. But these are some of the X-Men books I picked up recently. Picked them up in a lot of books. You know, a lot of them. Uh, they were like $22. But these alone actually worth the whole price of a damn lot, just to be honest. It works like that sometimes. You don't pick the lot up for the actual item. You know, you pick it up for some things that you could actually see working with, man. What I seen was, I'm working with some of this stuff and I'm happy with some of this stuff, man. You know, I'm starting to work smarter, not harder, man. I'm starting to look 
and take my time and not be so rambunctious just running the bad shit man because oh man what if it ain't there no more hell then it ain't there no more i'll be okay and i'm not gonna kill myself buying all this full price shit anymore man you know i waited till a pair of shoes i wanted went down somewhere if they didn't i would have just left them where they were as far as you know just collecting man now i just feel like it got to be at the price point that i wanted at you know i said hell you know i said i'm buying too much shit you know i had stopped paid off credit cards buying shit again dude like i said i got a lot of stuff coming and like I said, I said I stopped buying uh, video games and comic books and action figures for a minute. I did. But all of a sudden, you see lots of stuff that you want to buy. You know, like I said, this stuff adds up. I've been, what, collecting retro games for like three months? And I think we had uh, over 100 video games by now? Dude, that says a lot for something that people say couldn't be done in this day and age people make it seem like you gotta buy all uh, the heavy hitters oh man but a lot of those heavy hitters ain't worth play just real talk a lot of them are just hype a lot of the comic books that's supposed to be the greatest are just hype once you read the book you be like what the hell was I thinking you know you be like damn nothing from this particular time period was really good Man, I'm just stuck on the art. That's just probably what it is. Then you go from there. Dude, I've been looking at a lot of this stuff, man, and been calling it for what it is. Man, you enjoy the art. You enjoy the paperwork. <laughs> man, but till later, fam, peace out.